Just to put the mush cap back on. It's how he knows you're a mush friend. <laughs> But not because I'm afraid of him, because I look great in hats. It already broke. <laughs> That's fine. Hello, hi, my name is Teresa. I'm going to show you how I make my mushroom hat. It was a long process. I'm going to show you what went right and what could have been improved. And of course, how you could actually do it yourself. It's pretty easy. You could just use any form of recycling um, materials that you have. That's what I went for. I didn't want to like purchase anything. And I felt like almost everyone has these type of items in their house. Items you will need, boxes, newspaper or a bunch of paper, um, scissors or a carving utensil, a glue gun. If you don't have a glue gun, you could use tape or a sewing needle with thread. Um, what else? Uh, school glue and baby powder and any paint of your choice, any paint color, um, fabric and fairy lights. Step one, create your base. Now for the base, I use a sun hat to create this circular cut. You could use a ring light, what else, a giant plate, um, anything goes, or you could try to wing it. I'm also cutting the center basically to have my head be placed inside. Um, it's not the accurate cut because I use the... Um, Waddle bottle, um, the gallon, it did not work fully for me, so I had to keep uncutting and, and try it on and off to see if it works perfectly fine for me. Um, afterwards, I just make sure that it fits my head. Step two create the structure for the mushroom. Now you're going to cut these little strips starting from the inside and out and then you're going to tape it. I'm using thick tape, that's why it's staying. You want, you would want to use your glue gun. I did not have a glue gun so I just used tape all around um, and I just make sure I bend it a lot to create a flexible movement and this is the shape that I got. Step 3, cover that structure. To cover the structure, I used a bag, I cut both sides and then I put it on top of the dome and then taped it. You could also just use the glue gun again to actually just seal it down and I used a little bag to cover it. Then I use all the paper, I wet the paper and to make sure that it's easy for me to just put it on the glue and then transfer it on top of the dome. Um, it was really, I like this step. but. The only thing is the texture is not what I wanted. If you want, you could just continue painting it. But for me, I am going to add a top layer. Step four, creating a texture paste, which is optional. To create this top layer, I am combining a combination of baby powder and um, school glue. I would recommend you open your window or do this outside because when I was pressing down to remove all the baby powder, <laughs> I had to like, you know, take a breath or two or wear a mask because it just gets a bit everywhere on the air. I don't really like the scent of baby powder. I don't know why, but it reminds me of my doll. I get nostalgic feelings. It smells nice, but it's not it's not the scent that I like. Um, I am combining um, the glue and I'm just making sure I am spinning a little bit more gently and adding. I don't have a measurement, I'm just eyeing. I did add a little bit of water, not a lot, just like build in with the water to get this consistency. I don't like the texture of the um, paper so I wanted to add a thick layer of texture paste and the process application process wasn't as smooth I just pour it on top and then paint it but I do recommend adding um, or stuffing paper under before painting um, before applying the texture um, the texture paste because uh, it will create these weird little um, 
dome dents it will create these little dents and um, stuff it before because you can't stuff it after it will have cracks because that's what happened to me I wish I have known or remembered to add it step five is the fun part which is paint now when it comes to painting, you could choose any color you want, but for me, I just wanted to go with the traditional um, mushroom colored. I thought of um, the, like a, a Bella, yes. the Portabella type of mushroom, but I just went with this one instead. Um, it's a combination of red and I topped it off with orange. When blending the colors, you wanna use your brush and spin it in a circular motion until the colors are blended as one where you can't see like the actual like the actual separation and then this was my favorite part adding the little white dots i love this process it was so therapeutic i could do this all day and it did make the mushroom look like a mushroom but this dent right there like i said got me so upset i didn't know what to do i i was so frustrated and when i stuffed it it started cracking so again stuff it before you add the texture paste um but yeah that's what happened and i just i tried to fix it with glue that did not work at all and so it, it kind of backfired a little and, well it didn't backfire but yeah um you could see the little cracks here and there um. step six cover the bottom of the mushroom now i started off using black thread i don't recommend using this black thread because uh <laughs> Now, if you have a glue gun, please use it. This will save you so much time. But I did not have a glue gun, and I just sewed it. And of course, I um, I made sure I hemmed the bottom or folded. So when I sew it, it it looks neater. Um, and then I end up pricking myself. Oh. Her sweat and blood went into this. So when I was sewing, I noticed that it did crack just a little, not as much when I put the paper, but I do recommend like using a a hot glue gun because it, it it's just it's easier, like it's faster and less tedious. Um, for me, uh, sewing, I'm used to sewing, but sewing this was a bit difficult. I noticed it needed something, and then I remembered step seven. Add the lights I added this um, this light this LED light it's not LED light it's like fairy lights and uh, they, they were just sitting up there for decoration and I never went up to actually go get them just remember when you actually place them make sure you test like test it out I just taped it and I use like strong um, tape step 8 paint the stem now this is where you could create a stem for like hanging it up i thought uh i had an extra box and i thought hey let me use that extra box and i just painted it over and i used that box as storage um i just added all my old painting stuff and i just put it in there and then i just covered it with the hat it was easy to put back it's just you just put it back like one two <laughs> it, it, it wasn't that complicated i am muko the mushroom mage apologies for the way you were brought here this place is special and we have to keep it mush hush <laughs> now if i'm not mush taken these magic mushmallow Thank you for watching my channel and uh, staying tuned and for those who stayed and subscribed for all these awkward period stages throughout my videos, thank you <laughs> and uh, yes, bye! Take it? Yeah? Okay then.